Friday Night Fights rolls on from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. Ariel Agami with Primo Bellarosa. Let's go up to Connor Hall for the introduction to our next fight. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our second event. Three rounds of action out of the bantamweight division. Representing Estevez Muay Thai with a record of 8-1 and one from Stanford, Connecticut, Sydney, Mr. Bushido Kang. All right, now fighting out of the blue corner, representing Five Points Academy with a record of 3-2 and two from the Bronx, Serpico Goku Arriaga. Gentlemen, we went over the rules earlier. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Watch low blows. Watch your heads. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Touch gloves. Go to your corner. Robert Scott, our third man in the ring for this matchup at 140 pounds between Serpico Goku Ariaga and Sidney Kang, a.k.a. Mr. Bushido. And right off the bat, Primo, you notice the one-sided discrepancy in terms of amount of fights and record. Yeah, Ariel, Sidney Kang coming in at eight and one, Serpico at three and two. You know, Sidney Kang uh, almost doubling Serpico in the number of fights, so we'll see how it goes. But it's Ariaga coming out hot with a couple of body kicks. Yeah, he came out pretty quick with that hook kick, hook kick. A lot of action here in the early going. Sidney Kang in the blue, and Goku Ariaga, Serpico Goku Ariaga in the black and green. Fast pace to begin round number one. Piece of loose tape on the left elbow of Mr. Bushido, Sidney Kang. See if Robert Scott slows things down for that or not. Well, Serpico Ariaga, undeterred here, unintimidated by the impressive record of Sidney Kang. It's the first of a scheduled three rounds here, halfway through round number one. Ariaga trying to go up high on Kang, blocked away. Serpico set a pretty fast pace here, right from the first bell. Sidney Kang typically is a slow starter, likes to feel out his, his uh, opponent, and then start turning it up, end of the first round, into the second round. Here we are with 40 seconds left, Sidney Kang starting to turn it back up. Head kick partially blocked. But Kang starting to get into his rhythm here. Two fighters trade punches there. Second time Ariaga's kind of turned himself around, a little bit of a half-hearted back fist try, and he paid the price. Nice timing on an elbow right there from Sidney Kang. He, uh, he hit Serpico, kicked him. Serpico came off the rope, and that's when Sidney Kang threw that lead elbow. Elbows back and forth to end round number one. And a nice touch of the gloves between these two competitors here after two furious minutes of action. Second straight fight we've seen open up with a flurry. Yeah, Serpico really came out. And, and to be honest with you, I've seen Sidney Kang fight a few times. He is an excellent technical fighter who is very measured, somewhat slow in his pace, you know what I mean? He picks his shots, he, he has a, a very high land percentage, but, he, but he's, a, he's a slower paced fighter. Serpico did the right thing in that first round, just coming out with a fire under his ass, trying to make a real fight of it. Sidney Kang last fought early, last time he fought on Friday Night Fights was last August 2017 when he knocked off Adrian Frias by unanimous decision. Fought several times elsewhere since then, while Serpico Ariaga comes off his last fight in July, so both of these young men have been active of late. But again, the discrepancy in records eye-catching as Kang comes in at eight and one, Ariaga at three and two. But certainly an evenly matched first round. Let's see how things go in round number two. Ariaga and Kang locked up against the ropes. Kang adroitly sticking those knees in. Ariaga trying to fight him off with an elbow. 
Both guys throwing some really nice elbows in the clinch. And Kang appeared to kind of catch himself on the ropes there. Robert Scott letting it go. Might have been a balance issue anyway, so no need to slow things down. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a contrast to our first round, Primo. These two in a phone booth right now. Yeah, yeah, neither guy wanting to back up at all right now. Inside leg kick for Ariaga. Tries to double up. Kang looking for a home for that elbow. Not a ton of defense going on for either guy. Both guys, basically their defense right now is their offense. Inside leg kick for Kang. Tries to go up high as Ariaga backs away. Serpico's got to stay away from that head kick. He's missed that head kick pretty badly every time. And basically, he, he gives Sidney Kang a free kick to the leg. Here it comes again. He'll miss it right there. Sidney Kang will take advantage of that and land a low kick. And he's also left himself a little bit open in terms of that back fist that doesn't seem to have a lot of steam on it. Yeah. And he might be spinning into some danger if he continues to do that. Nice straight right from Kang. Absolutely, you can see it on, on Serpico's face. He's starting to fade a little bit right now. And looks like we end this round a couple seconds early. <laughs> there it is. Robert Scott sent him back to the corners. Not exactly sure. I didn't hear a bell myself. Did not hear but, a bell. Uh, we'll send him to the corners. Get a drink of water, boys. We'll come out for the third. Well, no short shortage on time, but no shortage of action there in that second round. Kang. I would have liked Ladies to have seen another 10 seconds Absolutely. of that. Absolutely. At 9 o'clock, we are going to so be going So we will see how this one turns on out again. Going into round three of a scheduled three. at 9 p.m. Between Sidney so sure Kang and that man, Serpico Goku Ariaga. Check it out at sportscaster.com. Fighting out of Five Points Academy in Lower Manhattan. All tonight's action. Right Ariaga here, originally Friday from the Bronx. Break. His now father is a big Al Pacino round. fan, as you might imagine. Never would have guessed. Named him Serpico after the great movie from the 1970s. Emily Bearden in Serpico's corner right now, a very accomplished amateur and pro fighter in her own right. Emily and I were actually on the USA team together in 2004. If Primo does not know you, you're not worth knowing in the world of Muay Thai and kickboxing, <laughs> folks. It's that simple. Ready for our third and final round here. Ariaga and Kang underway. Let's see if that frenetic pace picks up again from round one. Yeah, that was a nice double hook from Sidney Kang to the body and followed by a really nice body shot. He's landing that right body kick really well as well also. Ariaga teeped away as he tries to close ground on Kang. A teep from Mr. Bushido. Sidney Kang does a really good job in each range of fighting. When he's in punching range, he punches. If you get a little closer to him, he knees and elbows. If you back up with him from those punches, he throws a kick. He does an excellent job of reading what range his opponent is in and throwing the appropriate technique. Again, Kang wearing the blue trunks with red trim. He's out of Estevez Muay Thai in Connecticut. Serpico Ariaga, who swept down there, fights out of five points. He's wearing the black with green trim. Halfway through this third and final round. Combination for Kang. Body kick from Kang. Draws Uzanas from the crowd here at the Broad Street Ballroom. Fatigue starting to set in, probably on both sides, but it's Kang with the cleaner shots in this third round. Nice straight left from Ariaga. But again, just nothing on that back fist attempt. No, he throws it when he misses with the head kick. And it basically, he misses with the head kick, and his back is turned. So he kind of throws that spinning, spinning back fist, not as a real technique, but as a get away from me. But there's not enough on it to make anybody worry and not throw their own low kick. So we go the distance. Kang and Ariaga go three rounds on Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino, as well as Lucky Strike. And this one will be left up to the judges at ringside here. 
Bush Mr. Bushido, Sidney Kang looking to improve to 9-1. and one. Ariaga looking for what would be, would be his fourth win at the Class B level. And as we saw in our first fight, Primo, it looked like Sidney Kang, a little bit more polished, kind of started to put it all together in that third round. Yeah, like I said, uh, Sidney Kang's a bit of a slow starter. And, that, and that's, that's not to say anything badly about him. He uses that time to uh, figure out his opponent, evaluate what's going on, and then he starts to turn it up. Like I said, he starts to turn it up second half, end of the first round, and then from there he turns it up every round after that. Sidney Kang's last few fights have been five rounds. You know, a uh, title win and a title defense. So a three-round fight is, is significantly different than a, than a five-round fight, which is what he's been used to. So Connor Hall has the scorecards in hand. Let's find out. Let's find out who the judges determine is the winner. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge A, B, and C see this fight 27-30, 28-29, and 27-30 for a unanimous decision in favor of Sydney, Mr. Bushido Kang. Well, as you said, Primo, Sydney Kang putting using all the tools right there to get this unanimous decision victory over Serpico Ariaga. And uh, another impressive showing on Friday Night Fights. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, like I said, pretty, not an easy fight, but a pretty easy three-round decision. So Sidney Kang improves his record to 9-1. You are watching Friday Night Fights.